All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises, our glory, and our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the whole for elect. There's another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. Um, uh, the next day is uh, Wednesday, April 29, 2020. <clears throat> the, year, the year prophecy. And um, this here is from uh, CNN.com. This article here. As you can see, it says Pentagon officially officially releases UFO videos. All right, Pentagon officially releases UFO videos. Now, there's been a lot of that going on recently. Uh, I believe the uh, Pentagon also had uh, declassified uh, a lot of the different UFO files um, around three or four years ago, and that was talking the news, you know, especially here amongst brothers in GMS and other brothers in Israel as well. You know, Esau has well known for years um, about these UFOs and that they're something uh, from another world, which is what we understand and what we know to be from the spiritual world, okay? Um, That these are the angels of the Heavenly Father, and it's getting to a point now that with all these different sightings around the world and videos that's being put out there um, on the Internet, that they can't hide the fact anymore that there are um, what, like, what they like to call unidentified flying objects, which we know that they're the, the chairs of the Most High, but that these vehicles uh, are out there. You know, and that they're not in control. See, Esau's not in control of these vehicles. He's not in control of these so-called UFOs of these chairs. So now it begs the question, well, who and what are they? Okay? Who and what are these UFOs? You know, and there's plenty of uh, conspiracy theories out there uh, and so-called truthers out there that talk about aliens and the Anunnaki and the gods and, and, and you know, it's a lot of uh, misinformation and disinformation out there. But I can say this, that these, these, these uh, um, objects are found in the scriptures, okay? They're found in the Bible, all right? All over the scriptures, as a matter of fact, um... And the world is soon going to see that the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, have been right on what these things are. Okay? Um, So let me continue to read in this article. It says, the Pentagon has officially released three short videos showing unidentified aerial phenomena that had previously been released by a private company. The videos show what appears to be unidentified flying objects rapidly moving while recorded by infrared cameras. Two of the videos contain service members reacting in awe at how quickly the objects are moving. One voice speculates that it could be a drone. A drone. Um, all right. Uh, and they're not drones. They're, they're the chairs of the Most High. Okay, so now I want to get the scripture. All right. And we should know the scripture. This is the book of Isaiah 16 and 8. It says, who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? So who are these that fly within the clouds? Okay. These are the the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of the most high. Okay. With the chariots of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. That are 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 said to be the ones to deliver the elect, okay, according to the scriptures. The ones that are going to shoot laser beams and destroy America. All right. Matter of fact, since I mentioned that, let's go to Zechariah the fifth chapter. Okay. So this is Zechariah five and one. It says, then I turned and lifted up my head, my eyes, and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Flying roll is the same thing as uh, the uh, chariots, okay, or the UFOs. It says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? 
And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So this was a large chariot. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So the reason why you're seeing these different sightings is because this is a curse upon the Heavenly Father. This is why they're all over in different countries and Russia, Brazil, Europe, America, Australia, Africa. All these different um, um, sightings are part of the curse that the Heavenly Father placed upon it. It says, For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Because, like I said, these these chariots, all right, or these clouds are going to be used to destroy America. Because who, who, um, who uh, steals? Who has stolen and touched the apple of the Lord's eye? The so-called white man, the Edomites. All right, they put us in the captivity and slavery along with these other nations. So it's a curse to them. All right? Now when you go into Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, all right, Jeremiah 10, uh, I, I read verse 1 and 2. It says, Hear ye the, the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, a house of Israel. So that's you so-called black Spans and Native Americans. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So we're not to be confused about these things that are happening in the skies and the heavens. It says, For the heathen are dismayed at them. See, so these, these different sightings, all right, they 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 are for a curse unto the heathen. All right, but we're not to be dismayed at these signs because these are signs of our, are signs of our salvation. Okay, and to prove that, um, let's go to Revelation, uh, uh, the first chapter, and the seventh verse, because in the same, in these in the same chariot. All right, in his chariots, this is how our Lord and Savior is going to return. So it says in Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who cometh? Our Lord and Savior, who the word in recalls Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai. He's coming back with clouds, but not coming back in a cumulus cloud or, 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 or a, you know, a rain cloud, you know. He's coming back in what? The scriptures say that are clouds which are the chairs of the Most High. It says, And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, which goes into the ones that pierced him in the past when he was on the cross, are reincarnated back here in the earth. All right? Because reincarnation is in the scriptures. It says, And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, because when he comes back, he's coming back for... Uh, Destruction and salvation, even so, um, aman or uh, or good, okay. All right. Matter of fact, when you go back into um, what is this? Acts the first chapter. All right. Let's see. Acts chapter one. Yep. This is uh, Acts chapter one and nine. It says that when he had sp spoken these things. While they beheld, he was taken up. So Yahweh was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So that there was a chariot that beamed up Yahweh after he was resurrected. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Those are angels. So those are the men that are within those those um, those chariots. All right, what they call UFOs. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in the heaven? Right. Same thing that I that I read in um in Jeremiah the tenth chapter to the Israelites. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. You know? It says, This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he's gonna come back in a chariot. All right, and Esau, all right, going back to the article, he knows, he understands and knows that these UFOs all right, are the chariots of the Lord and that the Heavenly Father is going to send back his son, Yahweh Shai, to actually 
uh, save and deliver uh, the elect chosen of the Israelites, but also destroy the heathen as well. Okay? Um, so I'm going to read some more of this. It says, The Navy previously acknowledged the veracity of the videos in September of last year. They are officially releasing them now in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. All right, so it says they are officially releasing them now in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been uh, that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos, according to Pentagon spokesperson Sue Go. So these things are real, okay? It says, after a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems, said Go in a statement, and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions when identify aerial phenomena. The Navy now has formal guidelines for how its pilots can report when they believe they have seen possible UFOs. Right, because Esau can't make these these um, these um, these uh, vehicles, man. He can't make the chariots. These chariots are guided by the angels, which are so-called black men. All right, uh, uh, and and they know this, and they sh and, and there's a, a, a an example of that. In the movie Cosmic Slop, which you could probably find that on on YouTube, it's an old old movie from the I believe in the early '90s with George Clinton. You know, and and it, and it was put out. Matter of fact, even that whole Funkadelic area was always talking about the mothership, and, and it's just a lot of things that have that have come out over the last few decades that show you that these these um I mean, there was even a movie called The Chariots of the Gods, okay. But who who are the gods? Those are the angels of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and it and they prove through the spirit that those those angels are here to save so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites. All right, and they're a curse unto the heathen to destroy them. You know. Um. Let's see here. Um. So like I said, they can't create these these different um these uh 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 vehicles because they're guided by the spirit. Now this is Ezekiel the first chapter, and this is quoted by even these other philosophies. They have to go into Ezekiel. They gotta go to the Bible to get the understanding of what these UFOs are because this is this the Bible gives the true understanding of what of of what they are. Okay? Now now I want to get to the point. Yep, so this is Ezekiel 1 and 15. It says, Now as I beheld the living creatures, behold one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces, which represents the different power that the angels have. The appearance of the wheels, the wheels are what the wheels are the chariots. Alright, the UFOs that that spin throughout the uh, 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 heavens, the skies. It says, and their work was like unto the color of a barrel. And they four had one likeness. So he had, so he saw four UFOs, as they say, or four chariots. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. So they didn't have to turn. Somebody wasn't staring at a steering wheel, the angel was not steering a steering wheel, you know, putting it in reverse, you know, shifting the tires, putting it back in drive, and and hitting a U-turn or turning around the corner or turning around the corner of a cloud, okay? All right? They can move how they want to move. And Esau can't create no vehicles or no planes or anything that can do that. It says, as for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. So they were controlling, the angels were controlling these uh, chariots. Whether so ever the spirit was to go, they went. 
thither was their spirit to go. So this is these things, these vehicles are controlled by the spirit. The chariots are controlled by the spirit of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai. It says, and the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. All right? So, so there you go. All right? There you go. So the the movement of these different chariots um, is nothing that, that Esau can, can control or create. Okay? Um, so I'm going to read down here. It says, Nevertheless, Luis Elizondo, the former head of the classified program, told CNN in 2017 that he person, personally believes there is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. Right, because these pilots and these, these military commanders and, and other officials, they see, and nah, that's not something that we make. That's not something that Russia makes. That's not something that Israel, Iran makes, that China makes. All right, there's something out there that we're not being told, okay? Well, we the prophets here at GMS, we're the ones that are telling you what they are, okay? It says these aircraft, we call them aircraft, are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory nor in any foreign inventory that we are aware of. Elizondo said of objects they researched, Okay, it says he so he resigned from the Defense Department in 2017 in protest over the secrecy surrounding the program and the internal opposition to funding it. All right, because they know that these 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 are the uh, vehicles of the Heavenly Father, or they're finding they're finding out that they are the vehicles of the Heavenly Father. Because where else could they come from, man? Okay, where else could these vehicles come from? Which leads me to another scripture. Was it Psalms? 68, all right, in the book of Psalms, chapter 68, let's see, all right, let me see, 68 and 17, okay, this is the chariots of God, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels, the Lord is among them, as in Sinai in the holy place, so these are the chariots of the Most High. Okay, they're the angels of the Lord. So they're going to be the ones to, to help deliver the uh, uh, elect. Okay, matter of fact, I'm going to jump, I'm going to keep reading. It says, Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive, thou hast received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord power might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the power of our salvation, Selah. He that is our power, that's what God means, the power, is the power of salvation. And unto the Most High, Yahweh, the Lord belongeth the issues from death. Right? And that's true. But the point is that these are the chariots of the Most High. Okay? And only the Heavenly Father has the power to have these, uh, as they say, aircraft as such, you know? Um, and they're coming for salvation and destruction, all right? Let's see here. So it says, Reed tweeted Monday that he was glad the Pentagon officially released the videos, but that it only scratches the surface of research and materials available. So they got all kinds of, of, of things that they've seen in research that they haven't even put out there to the public, you know? Because like I read earlier in the scripture, these things are a curse unto the heathen, and they're terrified and dismayed at what these terrorists can do, Okay? There's videos of chairs shooting lasers. There's probably all kinds of video, you know, videos of things probably being uh, 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 um, destroyed by these chariots, you know. <clears throat> so there's 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 things that that the Esau knows that he's not putting out there. It says the U.S. needs to take a serious scientific look at this and any potential national security implications. We're going back to 1983. During the, the uh, uh, time of Ronald Reagan as president, he he spoke about the uh, the um, 
the world would come together in an event if there were to be uh, so-called UFOs from outer space to threaten the global national security. Okay? So that so that's already been a known thing since the 80s. All right? It says, and some members of Congress are still interested in the issue with senators received in receiving a classified briefing from Navy officials on, on, de- on unidentified aircraft last summer. Right. And there's all kinds of, of videos and, 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 um, and work that these angels are putting in the earth, you know, um, all kinds of uh, activity. All right, that's what I'm trying to say. All kinds of activity and things that are going on in the earth by these chariots. It says if pilots at Oceana or elsewhere are reporting flight hazards that interfere with the training or put them at risk, then Senator Warner wants answers. It doesn't matter if it's weather balloons, little green men, or something else entirely. And that's the same term that um, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan had used, little green men, because they know that those are angels, that those are so-called black men in those uh, chariots, okay? And those UFOs. And they're scared. I mean, Esau's scared. You know, that's why you got Trump pushing for this uh, Space Force, man. All right? But that Space Force is not, is not going to do anything against the vehicles that the Heavenly Father has, the chariots that the Lord has, because uh, uh, Esau is, is going to be totally obliterated, man. You can read that in uh in the Apocrypha in uh second edge the thirteenth chapter. All right. It says it doesn't matter if it's weather balloons, little green men, or something else entirely, we can't ask our pilots to put their lives at risk unnecessarily. Rachel Cohen, spokeswoman for Democratic Virginia Senator uh Mark Warner told CNN at the time. You know? And this is something that's gonna shake up the world, you know, once these chariots are out here, man. Okay, and they're going to be revealed even more. I'm, I'm going to go to Isaiah, the 66th chapter, down to verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, will come with fire. And that's going to be through Yahweh Shai. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So for you Christians out there, all right, the Lord isn't coming back. Who you call Jesus Christ is not coming back with with uh, flowers, cotton candy, and hugs. I mean, just coming back with fire, all right, and rebukes through uh, through laser beams, man. The things that you see on these movies, the world of worlds, all right, uh, Independence Day. That's how um, who you call Jesus, whose name is Yahweh Shai. That's how he's coming back. All right. It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And this is in the scriptures. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. OK. So the slain of the Lord shall be many. So there's going to be a lot of. Um, a lot of. Um, death and destruction coming from these these. Uh, these these UFOs, these chariots, man. Okay? But salvation is coming as well. Matter of fact, so let me read Psalms 91 and then I'll end it here. This is Psalms, the 94th chapter. Okay? Uh, it says, He, and this is verse 1 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and that secret place is uh, uh, the truth. Ha- having the knowledge of the truth, the secrets of the truth, the mysteries, the understanding, all right, of this knowledge of, of the scriptures, all right, of the Israelites. I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. And this noise of pestilence is talking about the uh, nuclear missile destruction that's coming on America and different places around the world. Okay, the mainly America. It says the Lord shall deliver them. It says he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right. So the feathers and wings that's talking about those that fly as the clouds, the, the UFOs, the chariots, they're going to to 
to cover and deliver the elect, all right, in that day, all right? Matter of fact, let me get one more scripture, all right? Um, Because the scriptures talk about coming into the chambers for a moment. Yep. This is uh, Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, and this goes hand in hand with what I just read. It says, Come, my people, into thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. This is not talking about being on lockdown in America because of the coronavirus. All right, for all you idiots out there. This is talking about actually being delivered and saved in, uh, 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 in, in, inside these UFOs. It says, Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. What indignation? The over. The uh, um the um the noisome pestilence, the nuclear destruction is coming on America. All right. It says, For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place, right? I read in Isaiah 66 of how he's going to come with his whirlwind, his chairs like a whirlwind and fire, because he's coming to destroy people, to kill. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, starting with the so-called white race, these Edomites. All right. Let me say the Edomites, they're going to be destroyed because you have Israelites that look like so-called white people. It says the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So the elect is going to hide in, in, in the UFOs, the chariots to be delivered while you have your um, um and other angels destroying America along with the nuclear missiles and, and other places. All right. Um, and that's going to be the end of iniquity in the earth, you know. So these sightings are a part of of what is soon to come. All right. It's like I read in, uh, in Zechariah 5. This is the curse that goes forth over the whole earth, man. You know, but it's salvation for Israel. The same way that Yahweh I went up in a, in a chair, a so-called UFO. That's the same way he's coming back. But with that, I'm going to end it there. I hope this was edifying, you know, so that you have a better understanding of what these sightings mean in the news and what they are in the scriptures. So I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom.